Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 3rd of January, 2011. Bright, sunny afternoon. Got some uh, fairly calm conditions this week. More of an interesting uh, issue to deal with maybe late this week and then early next week. Let's uh, take a look out the window this afternoon. First off, coming from Birmingham. Nice shot there. Still got that low sun angle, but it's gradually getting higher now. We're a couple of weeks past the uh, winter solstice. A few alto cumulus clouds moving in from the west. Those are mid-level clouds. Not a cloud in the sky coming from the Gadsden shot there. That's looking back to the east. Off in the distance, you can see the Coosa River east of downtown Gadsden. And speaking of rivers, how about that old muddy Tom Bigby? That thing is running full from the huge range that came down New Year's Eve and New Year's Day over the basin. And uh, it looks like the river's almost in flood down there. But, of course, this afternoon, not a cloud in the sky. All right. Uh, we got a polar vortex over Hudson Bay. It's cold over much of the continent. We've got an upper low. And I understand it's snowing in Las Vegas today. How about that? And uh, that'll be kicking out and maybe producing a rain shower somewhere at midweek. But uh, that deal Wednesday looks pretty puny for us. Here's a look at our temperatures at uh, 1 o'clock today. They're running a little below guidance. Uh, Birmingham at 48. Upper 40s also for Tuscaloosa and Anniston. Gadsden 45. We'll see freezing temperatures again tonight. Should not be as cold as last night. We actually had some mid-teens in there this morning. We're expecting lows tomorrow morning, mostly in the upper 20s and lower 30s. And around the nation, you can see that cold pocket up north, up on the uh, Canadian border. Readings are near zero. In fact, they're 10 below zero Fahrenheit over parts of Canada, specifically uh, Manitoba and Saskatchewan. And around here, numbers, uh, again, pretty cool. We should be in the uh, mid-50s or low to mid-50s this time of the year. And most spots are in the upper 40s. Precipitation for the next five days, not very much. Uh, we've got a, a little uh, midweek impulse that could produce some uh, rain on the Gulf Coast where they might pick up a half inch in places like Gulf Shores. Pensacola, Destin, Fort Walton Beach. But the latest guidance here showing nothing basically north of Montgomery. We're still going to mention a chance of scattered showers on Wednesday, but not very many. Uh, it's not going to be a big deal at all. And look at that. Are you kidding me? Uh, typically on the 3rd of January, somebody somewhere has issues with crazy weather, whether it's uh, snow or ice, flooding, tornadoes, severe weather, but not today. You got winter weather advisories out there around Las Vegas of all places, and that's about it. few issues out in uh, Southern California, but things are very, very quiet around the nation. We'll check the 12Z run of the GFS, the Global Forecast System. This is valid at noon tomorrow, and you can see the uh, vortex over eastern Canada. Upper energy coming out of the southwest around the four corners. And around here tomorrow looks like another nice day. Uh, much like today, we'll call it partly sunny. There'll be a few clouds around. Highs in the mid-50s. And then on Wednesday, that energy is moving through the flow and it approaches. And again, there's just not much moisture to work with. That's the GFS depiction suggesting there could be some light rain on Wednesday, mainly south of Interstate 20. If you're in Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, you might see a little rain north of Interstate 20. Don't think you'll see anything at all. And uh, the better rain's near the Gulf Coast. So Wednesday, cloudy, maybe a little light rain in scattered spots. High should be in the low 50s. Thursday, that impulse is by, so Thursday will be a dry day. A northerly flow, high probably uh, around 50, something like that. And then Friday, the trend toward colder weather is clearly happening. As you can see, the vortex is dropping south and a trough carves out over the east. And energy is rotating through that thing now. And look here, all of a sudden, the GFS is showing snow flurries down into the Tennessee Valley of North Alabama on Friday. So Friday looks like kind of a breezy and cold day. Uh, more than likely, the guidance is too warm. The GFS is showing a high of 48, probably low 40s. Some clouds around, and again, maybe a few scattered snow flurries, if this is right, especially north of Birmingham up in the uh, in the valley. And Saturday, starting off the weekend, looks uh, chilly and dry. Highs in the 40s after a low Saturday morning down in the uh, mid-20s. All right, now late in the weekend, this is where things get a little muddy. This is Sunday, and you can see the GFS is showing shortwave energy over Texas. And down below that, rain breaks out over the Texas coastal plain. Maybe some good rains around Houston. And uh, that rain would be moving in here perhaps Sunday night. We'll check the European at the same time. This is at noon Sunday, and the European is a lot faster. 
and it's got a better developed low in the Gulf of Mexico, and it's got some pretty good rain on the Gulf Coast, but this rain shield is mainly south of us, south of uh, Interstate 20, and it would be all rain, obviously, with the uh, critical thickness values up north. But one way or the other, obviously, we'll start to bring in some chance of maybe light rain uh, Sunday or, or Sunday night, especially from Birmingham South. We'll go to Monday. The GFS, remember, is slower. It's got the rain actually coming in here Monday, and it would be all rain. A good snow event breaking out across the Plain States. And then tomorrow, Tuesday the 11th, the GFS develops, a, a, a deepens the surface lows. It makes the curve up the Atlantic coast. The air gets colder, and by golly, the uh, critical thickness line is almost down to Birmingham, suggesting maybe a change to snow on the backside of that thing Tuesday. And since this is more than a week away, it's eight days out. This is in voodoo country, so this is all speculation out here. This is no forecast, but you got to note, are you kidding me? Look at the, the far upper part of that map, that high over the Yukon. That is a 1,060 millibar high. Woo, goodness. That's as, that's, as, that's as high as you'll ever see the surface pressure there. That's a whopper of a nasty cold air mass beginning to drop south. And again, there's a lot of concern that that's going to flood much of the nation around mid-month. There's the 12th, and that thing's beginning to nose down in here. We'll run to the end of the forecast on the 18th. Uh, it's got the, the southern stream energy. And again, you just see potential for winter mischief here. You got the southern stream that's active. The northern branch obviously is going to be cold, and and that looks suggest even there potential for maybe some kind of icy mess with uh, freezing rain with shallow cold air. And, and again, this is voodoo, but certainly the idea is on the table that uh, things might get cold and interesting at mid-month. There's the AO, the Arctic Oscillation. This is the cousin of the North Atlantic Oscillation, and the bottom line is when this is strongly negative, it opens up the gates to the Yukon, and uh, you can see it does in want to go strongly negative around mid-January, not quite the spike we saw in mid-December, but it's on down there. So it just seems like everything might be lined up for a pretty good cold air outbreak here, a cold wave, if you will, in mid-month. So stay tuned. Uh, that's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.